Hi friends! Today we are exploring School of Athens. It usually starts as a server event to compete for an Earl title, and then there is a qualifier leading into cross-server School of Athens to compete for a Duke title. This time around, however, we do have a King title competition. King title events are rare, and the competition is a lot more intense. A lot of high-stakes players the rewards are better and there's a lot more competitors. You can see that here we have 23 competing servers. So it does get very challenging, but hopefully a little bit fun. The chats do become pretty dynamic during these events. I really wouldn't be too hard on yourself if um, you're not able to place very well because again, there's just a lot of competition. So there is an individual and a team ranking score for this event. If you're in a team, you get both individual and team ranking rewards. Captains get an, an additional reward here. If you're not in a team, you only get the individual ranking rewards. Individual rankings are based on how many points you get from defeating opponents. Team rankings are based on how many debate certificates you receive. Um, there are a few reasons why you might choose to compete only as an individual. Say you don't think you'll be very active during the event, so you don't want your scores to impact the team, or maybe you don't feel like you need or want any team assist to defeat opponents, or you just aren't that into the event, which is totally fine. You should always only play if it's fun for you. But being in a team is really great because you can help each other defeat opponents and you can share scrolls with each other to get items and extra buffs. So on the right, you can enter your team to see who's there, what's their debate score, how many certificates they have, how many total certificates you collectively have, what's your current ranking. School of Athens does have an event store here on the bottom. And like with any event store, the price does go up as you purchase things from here. So just as an example, we'll just purchase one. So this is currently 903 coins and it went up in price. You can see your total price or coins on the upper right. And let's show you what event items you would use for this event. So these are the three items you would use. Ordinary Inspiration opens Wisdom Scrolls, Stamina Feast, gives you five more energies to explore. Divine Inspiration, which you can only get from value packs, opens True Scrolls. And when you open a True Scroll, you also get what's called a Eureka. Eurekas are used to advance levels. There are two types of scrolls. A True Scroll, which is opened by Divine Inspiration, like we said, which is the purple item and the wisdom scrolls which are brown i don't have any here to show you um, but they are order opened by ordinary inspiration which was the blue item you can see your scrolls that you've received through the event and you can see scrolls that were shared by your teammates on this screen so far nobody has shared anything yet but the nice thing is when you share your scroll and your teammate opens it you actually do get an item back, so an extra reward for you just by sharing, and vice versa. Now there is a time limit to open opening your scrolls, so you do want to pay attention to that as well. So I think we're ready to enter the actual event. There are three levels to School of Athens. We are currently on level one. You can see that right here in the upper left. Each level has two students, two professors, one master, and a chest. The HP of each opponent collectively increases with each level that you are on. On the upper left, you can see your HP and debate scores. You can increase these by clicking the plus button. It does cost gold to upgrade it, so just keep that in mind. I went ahead and maxed out my, my buff because um, I just want to be more competitive when I do get to level 3. But underneath the debate score, you can see um, any 
buffs that you have received which you usually get from opening the scrolls. The upper right of the screen shows you um, your points, total points earned throughout the event, total certificates you've received, total Eurekas you have. Here in, in the middle on the bottom, you can see your stamina. Right now I am at full stamina. You can increase stamina with a stamina feast item or by using gold, clicking on that plus button. You do have five chances to increase this with gold each day of the event. To advance to the next level, you'd have two options. You can either defeat 15 professors or masters, or you can consume Eureka's, which you get from opening True Skulls. To play, you would um, go ahead and hit Explore. And what it does is the system cycles through the options and randomly lands on one. And we have landed on a chest here, so we'll go ahead and open that. You get some rewards. We'll do it again and see if we land on somebody. So you have three options here. You can either mark, debate, or avoid the opponent. So you would choose debate if you want to go ahead and attack and defeat that opponent. You can see the opponent's HP in the middle here, and you can compare that to what your debate score is and if you'll be able to defeat it in one hit. If you can't, you can mark it if you like. And what that will do is signify to your teammates that you need help. And you would be able to see your marks on the bottom left if you click team mark. If, you, if your teammates have marked anybody, it will be in this area. And if you have any marks yourself, it will be here. It does cost more gold to open more slots to set a mark. Typically, I found that I've not really had to do that as long as I communicate with my team if I do need help. That's usually pretty good enough. And the third choice is you can avoid the opponent. Since you only advance levels by defeating masters or professors, most pe people usually avoid the students, which is what we're going to do now. Let's hit explore again. So you can see that I landed on a master. This will count towards ascending. And they only have 24 mil HP compared to my HP. I'm going to go ahead and debate. And that's defeated. I get some items. That's how that pretty much works. I'm going to pause here and continue playing and I'll meet you back on level 2. Alright, so I finally defeated 15 professors and masters, so I'm going to go ahead and ascend. I could have used a Eureka to ascend, but I like to save the Eurekas for going up to level 3. So we're going to go to level 2 now. And here's what she looks like. It looks pretty much the same except for the background changed. The HP of the monsters, well, opponents, have increased. And to ascend to level 3, you do need um, either the 15 defeating the 15 professors and masters or consuming three eurekas so i did earn some scrolls so this is what the wisdom scroll looks like i wasn't able to show you that earlier but now i can i am going to go ahead and share these so that my teammates can get them if they want it because like i said i'll be able to open uh, to get a reward back if they do open it So I will meet you back again when I'm ready to go to level 3. Alright, so we're ready to go up to level 3. I have opened some scrolls to get some buffs. My stamina is almost full. I have notified my teammate that I'm going up to 3. So if she's around, then she can help me. When you go up to level 3, you do have a 2 minute buffer where nobody else can attack you. Like I mentioned earlier, level 3 is where there are actual real player opponents. Instead of the master, that's where any um, opponents uh, that are real players would be. Um, if there is nobody there, it will show up as a mystery lord and you get debate certificates. You do get a debate certificate automatically when you go up and then you 
earn additional debate certificates so whenever you do defeat whoever is in this upper left corner if somebody kicks you out of level three then you lose a debate certificate so let's see how well we do in level three It looks like there's six people up here. And you really just want to try to get through as fast as you can. That way you accrue as many points and debate certificates as possible. Remember, this one is a king event, so a lot of high stakes players you probably might get kicked a little bit quicker than you would in a, than in a duke or an earl event so we're just going to do our best and if we get kicked down then i do have eureka to go, go back up i'm just going to do a couple more um i think you guys kind of see the point and that pretty much sums up uh, school of athens if you have any questions, let me know, and I hope you guys have a good one. Bye.